suitable groom in the ride. You hold the ride until I see it. Ow! Say good morning, everyone. <laughs> morning you guys welcome back to Lola's farm as you can see no baby Adriana's got Sadie duty for the next two hours which means Jordan and I need to get done as much as we possibly can in these next two hours so the last time we left you guys we had just finished the first two layers of the foundation for the brick pizza oven so now we just have one more layer to go of block to go all along this here and then we're gonna go vertical by pouring the actual concrete slab that's going to act as the countertop we also just got back from Panama City we were gone for 24 hours to go get our permanent residen residencies all finalized and go get our permanent IDs also I just had to share my appreciation for the dry season so far. We have had a few really, really windy days, but for the most part, this dry season has been very, very mild, and it's just been so, so, so beautiful. Also, another moment of appreciation, you guys, it is watermelon season, and the freaking watermelons here are unreal. Unfreaking real. So good, so juicy, we're getting right back to work on the pizza oven. We got one more row of the block I soleil. Told the people, honey, they already know. I'm just gonna get to work now. No, what are you doing? So since being back in Panama, for the most part, I've mostly just been breastfeeding Sadie just because it's been more convenient that way and we're just with her for the most part 24 seven. So um, it's just been what works for us. But I feel like because we haven't given her a bottle in a little over a month, we keep trying to and she's just been like absolutely refusing it. Some of you guys had some really good advice <clears throat> in the last couple of videos ago. You were saying how not to stress about forcing her to sleep in her crib or forcing her to take a bottle or forcing her and just stressing about all of the things that you think that you need to do and you need to perfect as a parent. I wanna cherish these moments for as long as I possibly can because it is seriously the best feeling in the world to put a baby to sleep in your arms. <laughs> do you think this outfit that I'm wearing screams that you're ready to lay some block? Mom life? <laughs> I think it screams that you're ready to lay some block. I'm ready to lay some block. <laughs> Actually, something that's very interesting is my Pepe was known for being an absolute pro at laying brick and mortar and all of that stuff. So I think it's in my blood, honey. Shout out to you, Pepe. <laughs> Also, you little silly nillies out there in the comment section that were saying that we can't use this for brick oven pizza ovens. This is strictly the base. So we are just making the base out of block. And then, of course, we're going to use that special fire, whatever it's called. Fire brick. Fire brick um, for the actual oven itself. There it is, you guys. The base is done. Well, the blocks are there. We just need to now fill all the holes with concrete. That's gonna be a lot of work, so I'm taking a little break right now. You made a steak? We had a steak in there? Yeah. Steak and potatoes, honey. Oh. I'm gonna need to take a few sips of coffee for this. This is gonna be a lot of work. One wheelbarrow 
full of concrete fills three holes. And I might have, I don't know, 30 holes here. That's 10 wheelbarrows of concrete that I'm gonna need to mix by hand and fill with all this. And all the sand and all the gravels up there. But this is what's gonna make it strong. This is gonna make it like one cohesive thing is filling all these holes with concrete so the concrete goes all the way down and ties all three layers of blocks together. We have one wheelbarrow that works and one that's broken. These guys over here are using the wheelbarrow that works. They're actually building a platform for a tank for agriculture water. We bleach all of our water and for all the plants, we don't want to be continuously watering them every day with bleached water. So we're building a separate platform for a separate water tank that won't have any bleach in it. So they have the good wheelbarrow up here. I'm gonna use the bad one down there to mix all the concrete. So I just have to come up here, grab the gravel and the sand, put it in this bucket and bring it all the way down. It's all right, I need, I need some exercise anyway. I've been getting fat. Getting myself ready for all the pizza. This is how it is. The more buckets of sand and gravel, the more pizza you eat. So go get me some sand and gravel, Kake. And no, no pizza for you. That is one strong and solid base for a pizza oven. This is all full. I made a mix that was a little bit more watery, a, little, a concrete mix that was a little bit more watery so I could fill all these holes. And now this base is ready for us to start building the framing for the concrete countertop. So I'm gonna build a concrete countertop that goes all the way over this. This is wood storage here, this is wood storage here, and then right here is where the pizza oven's gonna go. But that's all gonna come tomorrow. We gotta go take the puppies for a walk. Do you wanna go take the puppies for a walk? What do you think, you wanna go? Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna go. Is this your favorite part of the day? Yeah. You just cooked two more for yourself? Sweetie, you said you only wanted one. I cooked you one. And you made, you're having three? And now I'm having two more. I, no. No. Just only have one bite of one. One bite. Is this what parenthood is going to continue to look like? straight up hot dogs for dinner. Hey, at least they're organic, right? I took the biggest bite that I could. You literally took the biggest bite. <laughs> Love, no. <laughs> you basically just ate half my hot dog. <laughs> Here we are, another day on the brick oven. You ready to build a countertop? I'm ready to build a countertop. As you can see, we are baby free once again. We got two hours to get as much done as humanly possible. This is when we need to get all of our stuff done, is when we're hands free. <laughs> so we need to we need to find a way to fill these gaps so we can pour concrete and build pour a countertop that's five inches thick. Yep. So we need to close all of this, put a piece of plywood over the top of it, here and here, and then build a form so we can pour a nice, thick, fat concrete countertop. I can do it, baby. Turkey. I've been saving a lot of scrap wood for a time like this. Just keeping it all in the solar kiln, keeping it nice and dry. 
Here's all of our wood drying that we've milled. We have a bunch of this, but then here is all of our scrap wood. So we're gonna need a two by four as we have it. And we're gonna use all this wood to build the supports that the plywood's gonna sit on. I know, I know the feeling, 100%. You have no excuses, Kaki. You're just like staying up at night watching movies. <laughs> you don't know. She's a DJ. <laughs> All of us here on the farm always joke, kind of joke, but kind of not, how much fun it would be if there was an adult sized version of a Jolly Jumper. I mean, look at how much fun she's having right now. Imagine if this was just like 10 times the size. If we invented an adult-sized version of a Jolly Jumper. Would you buy it? Would you buy it? Yeah. And for how much? I'll go to 500. <laughs> wow! A good one. A good one, yeah. Can I go on Shark Tank? We can invent the adult Jolly Jumper. <laughs> Get Mark Cuban to invest. But we gotta have a different name for it. What would we name it? The f***ing Jolly Jumper. <laughs> Honey! It has to be well built because... You're gonna have to beep that out. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Absolute utter shock. This has been going on for the last 10 minutes, all these sounds. Sadie is passed out. <laughs> passed the construction out. sounds put her to bed, sweetie. <laughs> she's, a, she's a farm girl after all. Maybe that's what we should have for white noise when we go to bed Just at night. Just a hammer? Yeah. <laughs> Just in rhythm. Maybe that, that'll make her sleep through the night. We built a dance floor. A dance floor? Woo! <laughs> Kake, let me see you twerk. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is gonna be sweet. All right, now we gotta start doing the form. So, All right, form, so we can baby. Get ready to pour the concrete. Let's do it. Let's go. Last name, Kake. I have a secret to tell you all. Can I tell them? Kake's real name isn't Kake. Kake's real name. I'm sorry. Why don't you make a poll? Make a poll. Like. Ooh. Why do you think that is the real name? Right. Just to see what name they come with. Oh, there's no way they're gonna guess. Jonathan. Thomas, Jacob, or Alejandro? Which one is it? <laughs> His real name's Alejandro. Honey! It's not Kake. It was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> Kake is all a lie. And it's funny because no one can actually pronounce it. Especially remember, remember the time we got all these comments of people being so concerned that we were calling Kake Poo Poo because that's his nickname and everyone was so concerned like you're gonna that we were offending. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just don't understand. It, it, the internet's soft, man. I know. <laughs> also, no one no one can pronounce his name right, not even Siri. When Kake calls me, my phone goes, Incoming call from Cake. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone calls him Kiki and Kukul and Kake, Kaki. Kaki. <laughs> can we do, let's just let's just stop this. Let's just go with Alejandro from now on. Alejandro. And don't call my it. name. Don't call my name. It's gonna be weird. Alejandro. And we have to say it just like that every time. Like Alejandro. Alejandro. With the hands expressions and everything. <laughs> Alejandro. We're now having pizza tonight. <laughs> now that the base is all done, we need to close in the sides 
to make a form so we can pour the concrete countertop. So I'm gonna use this one by 12 and go kind of like this and just build a form all the way around. I feel like we can finally start to see what this is really gonna look like in the shape now that we have all the boards up. You can really start to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And I'm pretty happy that we angled this piece right here. Give us a little bit more countertop space because the wood stove is gonna be, go right here. It's gonna be a dome that's gonna go right here. There's gonna be the door that goes right here. And this will just give us that little bit of extra space to pull the pizzas in and out, not drop it on the floor, all that kind of stuff. But we still got sunlight. Day's not over yet, I'm tired, but that's something that coffee can always fix. So we're gonna drink some coffee and do some of the bar work, lay down some of the rebar, so for tomorrow we're just ready to start pouring this thing. this. I'm about halfway done with all the wire. I have to connect the rebar at every single joint and it's just gonna take a little while. I'm about halfway there. You guys can see some of these rebar pieces here are a little bent, a little messed up. I'm trying to just use all the scraps that we have. I don't want to have to go buy more rebar if we have it laying around and even though it's a little ugly I'm way over building this thing anyway so it's totally fine but I gotta go and take the puppies for a walk now. Lola's over here giving me a side eye. She wants to go for a walk. And the rain's starting to come in, so this is going to be a little walk in the rain, but that's alright, the puppies need it. <laughs> she loves it. Can I have a bite? Can I have a bite? <laughs> you have it all over your face. Are you a smoothie bowl lover like the mama? <laughs> yeah. Rubbing each other in scritch scratchy kisses. Mama Elephant's trunk would kiss and then sway and shower her calf with a wet washing spray. Right leg, left leg. What do you think if we go outside and give the mummy a little, a little time to sleep in? What do you think? Me and you, we're gonna go outside and get some work done. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the rain. It's drizzling, it's been drizzling all night. We got about 0.3 inches of rain over the night. But we haven't had a drop for close to two months. Our water tanks have been struggling. January is always the driest month here. We usually get less than an inch. And then it gets a little bit more rainy in February, a little bit more rainy in March, all the way through until the end of May, which is when rainy season really kicks in. So with our rainwater collection, just getting through January and February will always be the challenge. I think we're gonna make it. This little bit of rain's really gonna help us. So the rebar is basically all done. We just have to elevate it up. I just finished up doing the last little bit of the wire tying, make, making sure that it's all super secure, super strong. 
this next part I feel like is gonna be the most satisfying, which is gonna be filling this whole section up with concrete for the countertop. I'm very excited about this moment. <laughs> we got a pretty poopy weather day. So I'm getting the waterproof cameras out so we can keep this thing going. We wanna get this concrete countertop poured today. I got the Hilux down over here, full of sand and gravel, right next to the cement mixer. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of this myself today because Kaylee's gonna be with Sadie. She can't be out in the rain. When skies are gray, you never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear. So unfortunately, Sade and I cannot really be of much help right now. <laughs> but I can be your cheerleader, honey. You got this. <laughs> and I can watch and just admire that was like when you gave birth, how honey. satisfying this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like giving birth, honey. Just <laughs> like giving birth. This is similar, is it? <laughs> I can at least do the most satisfying part, which is what I like to call Icing the cake. Yeah, baby. Oh my god, love. You know what I just realized? What? We're gonna have to paint this whole thing again. I realized at the same time when you just said that, I just looked over there, I was like, oh man. <laughs> How's it feel? It's pretty satisfying. Isn't it? Isn't it like icing the cake? <laughs> yeah. For all you fellow um, mace masonaries? Ma masons? Masons? I think, Masons. Yeah. For all you fellow Masons out there. I mean, I'm not a Mason. So I guess I should say, for all you Masons out there, <laughs> let, let me know in the comments below, is this something that is always satisfying? Or is it just like in the beginning where it's like, ooh, it's like icing that cake, you know, the first few times, but then after a while it's like, all right, I'm getting kind of sick of icing this cake. We're making some really, really good progress here on the countertop. We're just getting to the last little bit. We're gonna do one more small little batch, but it is brutal out here right now. The rain has really, really picked up, but the good thing is even though it kind of sucks working out in the rain, we do look at it as a plus because our tanks are filling up. That is solely where we get all of our water, all our drinking water, all our shower water, dishes water, everything is from the rain. So anytime it rains, we're kind of like, Oh man, but at the same time, we're also really, really excited to be filling up our tanks. 
Sadie is staying nice and dry inside, hanging out with Roger over here. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Sadie prefers hanging out with Raj over any other animal here on the farm. Are you pulling on my hair? Wh what are you doing, you silly little nugget? But it's so funny because all of a sudden, like, we'll be hanging out on the couch and Roger's over here and all of a sudden she's just like reaching for him, just grabbing on his hair. <laughs> And that's it. We had to cover it up because the rain's just starting to pool up on there. So we need to get it to dry and then I'll just check it, re-level it, check it, re-level it as the day goes on. But it's coming down right now. I'm covered in cement, I'm covered in concrete, I'm dirty, I'm wet. Honey, there's no way you're coming into the workshop like that right I'm now. I'm coming in right now, I'm gonna relax. No, you're gonna take your clothes off, <laughs> go shower, and then come in. <laughs> Here's a look of it a lot more dry than it was. There are some little holes, some little bubble holes from it drying and just settling and everything, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We're gonna be putting brick on top of this. So I could be out here spraying it down and trying to get it all perfect, but you're never really gonna see it anyway because it's gonna be under a bunch of brick. But we're beat. We're gonna relax for the rest of the evening, watch a movie, hang out with Sadie, and just do a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for following along. If you guys want more videos, if you want some extra videos, we do post one bonus video per week up on Patreon. And you can also get your name on our farm sign. We're working on a brand new sign for all of our patrons now that's in the works. So if you want to use your name on that sign, get extra videos. There's a link down in the description to our Patreon. But that's all we got for you guys. We love you guys so much and we'll see you on the next one. See you next time.